how big a bladder with its swim bladder depleted a 9.5 kg yellow fin tuna has a density of 1050 kg per cubic meter it is swimming near the surface of the ocean what volume of gas must the fish have in its swimming bladder to achieve neutral points here um this problem this numerical problem is based on uh, uh, buoyancy and floating of course archimedes principle just i will recall the archimedes principle and then do the problem according to archimedes principle when an object is completely or partially immersed in a fluid the buoyant force exerted by the by the fluid on, on the object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object okay that is the archimedes principle now when it comes to this one when the object sinks when the object floats when the object has neutral buoyancy that depends on the density of the object and also the density of the fluid here in the first case when you immerse the when the object is immersed either partially or fully into the liquid it sinks if the weight of the object is greater than the fluid displaced weight of the fluid displaced by the object that means the density of the object is greater than density of the fluid in the next case when the weight of the object is less than the weight of the fluid displaced then the object floats that means the density of the object is less than the density of the fluid suppose if the weight of the object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced then um then, then what happens uh, when the weight of the object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced then the buoyant force is equal to weight of the object okay in this case the density of the object is equal to density of the fluid then the object is in neutral buoyancy that means it neither floats nor sinks but it will be hanging in the fluid okay now when it comes to the fish what happens the fish has the uh, density of uh, 1050 kg per cubic meter okay but when it comes to the density of the fresh water or the sea water i give the density of the fresh water density of water is equal to fresh water if you want i write fresh water okay density of the fresh water is 1000 fresh water is equal to 1000 kg per cubic meter whereas the density of the sea water is equal to 1050 and uh, 1030 am i right 1030 kg per cubic meter obviously if you see this one the density of the water is less than the density of the fish so what happens if the density of the fluid is less than the density of the object then the fish will sink this is the case so here this is the density of the uh, fish see density of, density of the fish is equal to 1050 kg per cubic meter that indicates that this is the density of water so rho fish is greater than rho water am i right whatever may be the water it is whether it is the fresh water or the uh, sea water it is uh, greater than the uh, the water the density is less than the fish density okay so obviously the fish will sink if the fish sinks what happens it will die so it has to uh, so float for that one there is no spe uh, special uh, mechanism the the fish has no lungs they have the sac so swim bladder it is called the uh, gas filled sac called the swim bladder okay what happens the fish will uh, fill this uh, uh, swim bladder with the gas and then uh, it uh, accordingly that means whenever it has to go down 
then it, it will uh, reduce the ga gases in the swim bladder and then whenever it has to come to the surface then it will uh, increase the gases in the swim bladder so that when the gases are more in the swim bladder the fish will rise up okay when the gases are less in the swim bladder then it goes down that means the density changes for this i give an analogy with the human body okay just for the uh, sake of knowledge if you take the human body each body component has different densities for example if you see the human body the fat has the density of 0.9 kg per cubic meter and then water in our human bodies are made of fat water blood muscle bone am i right so each component body component has different densities and uh, typically the human body has the density of 1050 kg per cubic meter so when we fall into the water that means uh, suppose if we don't know how to swim then what happens obviously we will uh, submerge into the sink into the water whether it is the ocean water or the fresh water the density of the human body is greater than the density of the water so the density of the human body is also 1050 okay not only the fish human body density is also 1050 kg per cubic meter so obviously human body density is greater than the density of the water so the uh, we will sink into the uh, water okay whether it is the um, sea or the um, uh, lake or the river so what we have to do then we have to inhale the air we have to fill our lungs full then we will float that means the density of the uh, human body decreases if we fill the lungs with the water with the air okay our lungs should be full with the air that means we have to inhale as much as possible so that the body will float on the uh, water this is how we can rescue ourselves suppose if we don't know how to swim then uh, then also we can uh, rescue ourselves we we can save ourselves till we get the uh, uh, so, so some uh, help from outside okay so suppose if we don't know how to swimming and uh, accidentally we will, will be in water maybe it may be sea or sea water or river water whatever it may be okay then to save ourselves first what we have to do is we should calm down and then we have to fill our uh, lungs with the air okay we have to inhale as much as possible so that we will be floating on the uh, water that means our densities will come down okay so that the, when the lungs are full with the air then the density will be ro uh, human beings okay i write here ro human beings uh, full with the uh, air in lungs is equal to 990 one second 990 kg per cubic meter okay so this is less than the uh, density of the water so we can easily uh, save ourselves and one more thing is to check the fat content in the body there is a rough method okay Uh, what the people in the uh, doctors will do is first they will measure the uh, weight of the person okay and then next what they do is they will ask the person to exhale and then go into the <clears throat> water chamber as much as possible they have to exhale and then they will weigh the human uh, the person uh, uh, under observation and then they will uh, ask him to come out then what happens the then they will find out the density suppose the density is less then the fat content will be more okay if the density is uh, greater than this one 0.9 then the fat content the uh, lesser the uh, density the higher the greater the fat content in the body this is a rough estimate i am saying to find out the rough estimate of the fat in the body this is one of the methods the doctors will use okay this is one thing and then the uh, this is about the fish so the fish will uh, fill the uh, gas uh, this um, swim bladders with the 
gases and then ocean fish uh, swim bladder it take up to uh, 1 to 3 percent volume of the body whereas the freshwater fish will take 3 to 5 percent of the uh, 5 percent of volume of the body okay and then um, what they do uh, <clears throat> uh, depending on the situation the fish will uh, increase the content in the uh, swim bladder, the gases in the uh, con uh, swim bladder, okay, gases content in the swim bladder, and then they will move up and down. Uh, of course, the pressure changes according to the pressure changes also, okay. Now, uh, we are supposed to find out uh, the volume of the gas uh, the fish should have to achieve neutral buoyancy so that it will, it should not come, it should not float, it should not sink, it should just uh, balance uh, in the neutral balance. That means it should be just in water. Okay. For that, we will calculate here. The um, mass of the uh, fish is given to us. Mass of the fish. 9.5 kilograms. And then the density is given to us. Density of the fish. What is the density of the fish? Here they gave 1050. So this is the 1050 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. Now based on this, we can easily find out the volume of the fish. Am I right? Volume of the fish is equal to, we know density is equal to mass per volume. Therefore, volume is equal to mass by density. So mass by density means 9.5 divided by 1050. Okay, so this gives 9.05 times 10 to the power of minus 3 cubic meters. Okay, this is the volume of the fish. Now, uh, we have the we have to find out the, um, this one. This is uh, this one. And then volume of the, uh, this is volume of the fish. And then we have to, uh, this one. To achieve the neutral buoyancy, we have to the uh, find out the buoyant vo volume of the this one, what we call uh, the sac along with the sac. Okay, so that uh, I will calculate here. So nine point five uh, divided by v b. That means when the this one is uh, full, the sac is full, then uh, plus uh, nine point zero five times this one, volume of the times 10 to the power of minus fish P is equal to, uh, I will equate to the salt water, uh, this one, sea water, draw, uh, density of the sea water. Then if we I, I, if I equate it to the sea water, then what happens, then uh, I have to find out VB, volume of the bladder. Okay, VB is the, I write here, VB is the volume of the bladder. volume of the bladder. Now I have to find out the volume. Okay, how big the uh, bladder, volume of the bladder I have to find out. So what I do, here VB is equal to 9.5 divided by 1030 minus 9.05 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Am I right? Therefore, VB is equal to this uh, fraction when I calculate 9.22 times 10 to the power of minus 3 minus 9.05 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, so this gives an approximate, approximate value of 1.722 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 3 cubic meters. Okay. That means it is approximately 2% of the fish volume. Typical, no? Generally, the seawater uh, fish, ocean fish will have the swim bladder uh, 1 to 3%. Okay. Therefore, it is, uh, I suppose if it is the fresh water, 3 to 5%. Freshwater fish has the um, bladder volume three to five percent. Okay, this is the the, the seawater. For seawater fish, 
sea water fish the bladder volume bladder volume will be 1 to 3 percent of the volume of the body then if it is the fresh water then it will be 3 to uh, 3 to 5 percent okay so the bladder should be one probably the volume of gas what volume of gas must the fish have in its swim bladder to achieve neutral buoyancy means this much of the volume 1.722 times 10 to the power of negative 3 cubic meters if the this much volume of the gas is uh, in the swim bladder then the fish will be in neutral buoyancy hope this helps thank you bye bye